the male protagonist Kaiyuru muses over ways to put the attractive women's lives to death. Anna, the popular student, is his target. He frequently feels self-hatred because of this awful idea, but he just can't let go of the desire to kill Anna, until he accidentally discovers Anna's secret one day. Instead of trying to kill her anymore, he takes her hostage. Will Kaiyuru gain Anna's approval? Let's all take a look. On a calm afternoon, the story opens. Kaiyuru reads his book in the library because he prefers it to the noisy classroom. He unexpectedly runs into Anna there. Anna is a tall, attractive girl who is known as the school bell, but she is a huge glutton. She often hides in the library to eat snacks because school regulations forbid it. Anna asks Kaiyuru to keep her snacking a secret because she's worried about being found out. Kaiyuru, however, was unable to clearly understand Anna because she was also eating. He peeks at Anna and sees that she is looking for her scissors to finish her homework. He offers Anna his box cutter as a result. Without question, Anna says thank you to the man carrying the box cutter. Kaiyuru is a little taken aback and shy, but she doesn't dislike him. Anna gives Kaiyuru her snack as they prepare to leave the library. He believes Anna is sharing snacks with him when, in fact, she was asking him to put the package bag in the trash. Kaiyuru discovers his box cutter on his desk the following day at school. He blushes when he imagines Anna touching his cutter. Following that, the class will present their group projects, and Kaiyuru observes a disagreement between Anna and her teammate Moko. Anna seems unconcerned when Moko criticizes her poor handwriting and rewrites their manuscript, but she displays disappointment during their presentation. Anna is found sobbing in her seat later by Kaiyuru. Kaiyuru purposefully messes up his homework in an effort to stop others from bothering her. During his lunch break, Kaiyuru runs into Anna and Hanoka in the library. Hanoka came here after receiving a request from a boy named Kenta. Their classmate Kenta, who adores Hanoka, is also a classmate. Anna realizes she will probably ruin their date just as he is expressing his love for Hanoka. Kaiyuru, who is unintentionally hiding behind the bookshelf, unintentionally makes a sound that draws Anna's attention. She approaches him as a result, imitating a cat to aid in his covert listening. They are content and happy to see Kenta and Hanoka getting along so well. Kaiyuru visits a bookstore after school where he runs into Anna once more. She appears to be a well-known magazine model, and she visits to inquire about the magazine's sales. Now that she is dressed, she appears stunning. She expects her fans to recognize her, but her enthusiasm directly turns away two of them. Kaiyuru feels compelled to purchase one of Anna's magazines after observing her embarrassment. But Kaiyuru notices the distance between them when he looks at her pictures. The following morning, Kaiyuru sees Anna with a boy by the name of Haru as he travels to school. Their older brother Haru likes Anna and approaches her frequently. Kaiyuru can infer from their covert pursuit of them that Anna dislikes Haruya. Kaiyuru swerves his bicycle into the river to cut them off from continuing their conversation. Kaiyuru makes up a story about mistaking the brake for the accelerator when Anna asks him why he did that. Anna chuckles as she hears this. He is a very fascinating person in her opinion. Right now, Kaiyuru flushes. He is drawn to Anna, but he still hasn't given up on the thought of killing her. In the library, Kaiyuru can read strange books like Murdering Encyclopedia by himself in peace. Kaiyuru's peaceful life has been completely upended by Anna, though, ever since she began sneaking snacks into the library. Kaiyuru repeatedly sees Anna leaving the house to get the tap water on this particular day. It turns out that she brought a snack that requires water to be mixed with. Kaiyuru rushes to get a glass to help her, only to return to find her finishing the snack. Kaiyuru tries to maintain his composure while acting upset and gets himself a glass of water. Anna then gives him her trash once more as soon as she recognizes him. Kaiyuru grows increasingly curious about Anna over time. He is perplexed as to why she is hiding out by herself in the library. Anna has a lot of good friends, but none of them go out to eat with her. Kaiyuru begins to believe that Anna is planning to murder him when everyone is away because she has probably learned about his murderous scheme. Suddenly, Kaiyuru overhears a classmate named SH discussing Anna. SH is a lustful boy who wants to take advantage of Anna's increased perspiration on days like these to see what kind of undergarments she is donning. His plan is foiled when Kaiyuru, who learned of it, purposefully drops his cutter on the ground as SH passes by. SH is no longer able to carry out his plan to peep while Anna and her friends leave the classroom. Kaiyuru is even more perplexed when she observes how close and content Anna is with her friends and wonders why she must eat alone in the library in secret. Anna borrows Kaiyuru's fan in the library later on, and when she smells it, she asks him to do the same. She is unavoidable for Kaiyuru. Anna's underwear is visible due to sweat as he approaches her. Kaiyuru feels very anxious and timid about this. Anna hides under the desk so that she won't be seen by her good friend Chihiro when he enters the library at that precise moment. Kaiyuru is compelled to experience a physiological response after detecting Anna's body temperature. Anna has been found by Chihiro. Chihiro decides to sit down opposite Kaiyuru and talk to him about Anna rather than confronting her directly. According to Chihiro, Anna always hides when she eats because her health prevents her from having snacks. Anna would, however, appear on her own after receiving praise from Chihiro. Chihiro consequently starts praising Anna for being a cool and thoughtful girl. Anna does, in fact, leave right away. 
Kaiyuru finally comprehends Anna's need for solitude when Chihiro explains why she eats her snacks alone. Everyone is working on preparations for the upcoming school culture festival. Kaiyuru's class has a haunted house set up in mind. Anna suggests that Kaiyuru create a propaganda poster with Hanoka because of his attractive handwriting. While working, Kaiyuru can't help but ogle Hanoka's chubby body. Kaiyuru is surprised by Anna when she unexpectedly emerges from the well because she is in charge of portraying a female ghost in the haunted house. While this is going on, Hanoka, who is a little chubby, notices Anna's attractive physique and feels inferior to her. Hanoka is comforted by Kaiyuru's reassurance that everyone has strengths of their own and should not be envious of Anna. He later learns, though, that Hanoka carved Anna's last name on the tombstone. Kaiyuru assumes responsibility for writing the name because he is worried about Hanoka and Anna getting into a fight. Hanoka just so happens to arrive and confesses to having written Anna's name on the tombstone. However, since Anna is just a common surname, she has no intention of cursing Anna. Anna regrets blaming Kaiyuru now that she is aware of the truth. Kaiyuru, who still doesn't want Anna to be related to the tombstone, chooses to have his own last name written on it in its place. Anna asks Kaiyuru to assist her in making up some fake blood on her face after the misunderstanding is cleared up. He quickly makes a red dot on her face while blushing and flees. At the culture festival, Kaiyuru learns that Haruya is attempting to approach Anna once more. He believes that Haruya is not a bad person because he has assisted him in saving his bike. He is nevertheless troubled when he observes Haruya and Anna together. He consequently follows them only to be found by Anna. Kaiyuru is invited to visit the classroom that has as its theme our town from 80 years ago, and Anna is surprised to see her house on the map. Kaiyuru finds it interesting and wants to photograph the map. But Anna misunderstands him to be proposing to take a photo with her. She then takes a selfie with him using his phone. Kaiyuru recognizes his love for Anna as soon as he sees the picture. Kaiyuru is coming up with a sinister tale. When he creates the protagonist, he can't stop thinking about Anna. Kaiyuru overused his brain during the creation, which is why he now has a headache. He visits the hospital, where the doctor tells him to take an hour to relax. Anna is unexpectedly on the bed next to him. When Kaiyuru sees her sleeping face, he is moved. Anna's eyes suddenly open at this point. She is relieved that Kaiyuru is staring at her rather than a stranger because she can't fight off people she knows. She gives Kaiyuru a pill after realizing he has a headache. A yellow cup is by the sink when Kaiyuru is about to take the pill. He assumes Anna may have just used the cup because there are still water droplets on it. This lecherous boy is compelled to use Anna's cup, which would involve kissing her covertly. However, Anna, who is about to leave, interrupts him before he can take a sip. He acknowledges what a terrible idea it was to put her cup down. Kaiyuru notices Anna's shirt in the hospital after she leaves. He has heard that Anna smells good and wants to check it out. The moment the doctor enters the hospital again, he notices Anna's shirt. She asks Kaiyuru to help her return it after learning from the information on it that he and Anna are in the same class. Kaiyuru finally gets to smell Anna the way he wanted to, and then something happens physiologically. When Kaiyuru enters the classroom again to continue his narrative, he overhears three boys talking about mature subjects. He even has the intention of asking Anna if she uses toys to stimulate her genitalia. He doesn't, however, dare to speak to Anna face to face, so he asks Kaiyuru to assist him in giving her a note. Kaiyuru gives Anna the paper on which he has drawn his heroine after Anna because he doesn't want her to know Sho's dirty thoughts. He then reads Sho's note, only to find that all it contained was a request for Anna's line address. Kaiyuru needs to read the sketch that he gave Anna. He hears Sho about to ask the girls to complete an extremely obscene psychological test at that precise moment. To learn more about their views on intimacy and preferred positions, he will ask them to touch his fist with one hand. Moko believes that Sho is merely looking for an excuse to touch girls' hands. Sho invites boys to take the test with her to reassure her. The girls use a ruler or even their feet to touch Sho because they still don't want to touch his hand. Additionally, they decide not to believe Sho's words and research the psychological test online. Anna declines to take the test after finding out about its extreme indecency. During her lunch break, Anna notices that her candy is missing. And since Kaiyuru is the only person in the library, she assumes that he is the one who has taken it. She reaches for his hand only to realize that she misinterpreted him. Kaiyuru, however, is reminded of Sho's psychological test by her behavior and surmises that Anna prefers to dominate in intimate situations, which thrills him to the point where he finds it difficult to calm down. A basketball strikes Anna's nose in physical education class. Kaiyuru rushes to the hospital as soon as he can because he is so concerned about her. He is secretly hiding under the bed because he doesn't want anyone to know. Anna is currently speaking with her family over the phone. She can't take part in the photo shoot tomorrow because of her broken nose. She is crying so much because she is so sad. Kaiyuru can't help but cry when he sees this. He has never seen Anna so vulnerable before, and he now appears to be aware of his feelings for her. Anna then attends school as usual after that. She feels guilty and disappointed for missing the photo shoot even though her nose was not broken. Kaiyuru has been stalking Anna covertly because he cares about her. He places his paper towels on the library desk with the note feel free to use when he notices that Anna's supply is running low. 
Anna appears to organize herself soon. She uses Kaiyuiru's tissue to clean her hands after finishing her snacks. When Kaiyuiru notices the smile on her face, he feels relieved. He likes Anna, but he won't admit it. He tells himself over and over again that he simply doesn't hate Anna and has no desire to fall in love with her. During lunch that day, Kaiyuiru observes Anna attempting to steal milk from the classroom, speculating that she might want to use the milk to feed stray puppies. Anna, to his surprise, only wants to use the milk to make yogurt. Anna is reminded to get a bowl from the home economics room after he notices she doesn't have a milk container. Together, they enter the home economics classroom, only to discover that it is locked. Kaiyuiru's only option is to bring her to the science lab, where they can get glass beakers to hold the milk. Anna finds Kaiyuiru to be very intriguing because of how particular he is about the grams of milk. As soon as the snack is prepared successfully, Anna requests that Kaiyuiru taste it first. After that, she can finally enjoy it. Unexpectedly, a teacher notices them. The snack splashes on Anna because she is startled and choked. However, Anna's lap is covered in unidentified liquids, and the teacher notices this, suspecting that they are up to no good. Even after Kaiyuiru clarifies that it is only yogurt, the teacher continues to berate them harshly. A young lady named Rin follows Anna around the entire time she is being thoroughly cleaned. She is recognized by Kaiyuiru as the person who hit Anna with a basketball, and Kaiyuiru surmises that she is attempting to make amends. Anna rushes downstairs as her rag currently falls from the window. As a result, Rin loses the chance to express her regret. Serena, a friend of Rin and Anna, is concerned that Anna might believe Rin did it on purpose and urges Rin to apologize as soon as possible. However, Rin's timid behavior infuriates Serena, who then engages Rin in a fight. Rin visits the library after school in search of Anna. Kaiyuiru chooses to clear the area for them since she is probably trying to apologize, just before he turns to leave. He is stopped by Anna, who is fixated on a face-changing app and eager to try it out on Kaiyuiru. Kaiyuiru quickly flees out of shyness. Serena is watching them from the door while they are there. She doesn't want to be seen admonishing Kaiyuiru to be quiet. There are only two people left in the library, Anna and Rin. She is asked by Anna to take a face-swapping picture. She is disappointed that she is unable to complete some exaggerated expressions due to her nose injury. Rin seizes the opportunity to apologize to Anna at that precise moment. However, Anna is surprised to learn that Rin was the one who hit her, and she doesn't mind at all. As Rin continues to feel guilty, Anna offers to share some snacks with her. Serena apologizes to Rin for being careless after Anna has left, and the two quickly make up. On the way home, Kaiyuiru runs into Anna once more. She asks Kaiyuiru if he will take her to the station after noticing that he has a new bike. Anna offers him a piece of her popsicle in exchange. Kaiyuiru is quite anxious because he has never ridden a bike with a girl. Anna explains to him that she has left the basketball club because her family won't let her continue playing basketball due to her injury. She chooses to join Kaiyuiru's club even though she is aware that he only attends the consulting club once a week. Kaiyuiru receives a full popsicle from Anna when she arrives at the station. Then Kaiyuiru imitates Anna's actions, giving her a piece of her mind and making her feel shy and embarrassed. Kaiyuiru then bids her farewell, but a taxi pulls up in front of him as he raises his arm too high. The head teacher in the narrative that follows learns that bags of snacks were discovered in the library's trash can. Anna is soon added to his list of suspects, and he queries her about it. Because Anna is so anxious, she responds that she has never put anything in the trash can, leading the head teacher to believe that Anna has brought snacks to school. Anna is therefore asked to visit the teacher's office on the weekend the following week. Kaiyuiru visits a burger restaurant with his sister. He doesn't want to be seen and finds it embarrassing to hang out with his sister. His concerns are realized when he notices Anna and her friends in the restaurant, right behind him. As soon as Anna recognizes Kaiyuiru, she follows him. Kaiyuiru immediately lies to his sister that he is going to order food. Kaiyuiru doesn't want to show how close he is to his sister, but Anna is jealous of him because she is older. Kaiyuiru notices Anna wanting an ice cream during the conversation but she decides against getting one because her wallet is on her seat. Kaiyuiru concludes that Anna has purposefully approached him, which surprises him. When Kaiyuiru's turn to place an order comes, he chooses an ice cream. However, he is afraid to give it to Anna. Later, Kaiyuiru follows Anna to the office out of concern that the head teacher will discipline her. He explains that Anna is a very straightforward person who answered the questions directly, as opposed to other people who might first try to guess the questioner's intent. Therefore, she meant to say that she didn't bring any snacks to school when she said that she didn't leave any snack bags in the trash. Kaiyuiru rarely speaks, so the head teacher had never heard him go into such detail before. Kaiyuiru successfully convinces him to absolve Anna of responsibility. Anna gives Kaiyuiru candy as a thank you gift. To stop him from addressing her with honorifics in the future, she decides to become friends with him. For more anime recap, click here to subscribe and watch more. Thanks for watching.